Hello and welcome to 8th Avenue North, downtown Myrtle Beach, right across the street from what was the pavilion. If you've been watching the past few videos on this channel, you know that I'm about to talk about the acquisition of several properties in downtown Myrtle Beach by the city of Myrtle Beach. These two buildings here are two of the parcels that the city has purchased. That space behind them, they also bought that. So we're here at 8th Avenue North, like I said, across from the pavilion, these three parcels, two of which are restaurants, one's a vacant lot. One of the restaurants is Barnacle Bills. It's not notorious for shenanigans, but it doesn't have a clean history either. Uh, it was for sale recently. Uh, here you go right here, here's the ad for it. You could have purchased Barnacle Bills if uh, you so desired. The restaurant next to it is Bodo's German Restaurant. So these two properties are now owned by the city of Myrtle Beach along with that lot in the back. So I do not know for sure if these two buildings are coming down. I don't know the plans for them or if there even are plans. As of today, they're both still operating as far as I know of. So from the ground, you can see that they're not in disrepair and they're right down the street from the beach. That's the beach down there on the left. So we're not in a quote unquote bad neighborhood and we have high visibility. So these establishments could and should be thriving at this location. Remember the whole reason the city bought all these properties was to eliminate crime, whether real or perceived, that's their, their words. So I asked the question, why buy these two properties with these two restaurants? Is there a history here that I'm not aware of? If you're aware of it, comment down below. Let me know, is there something I'm just missing? Or is the city just trying to grab up property in order to redevelop for the future? Either way, let's take a look at the front end of Barnacle Bills and we'll get a closer look at Bodo's. Bodo's has this really cool Bavarian art on one of the windows here, right there. You can kind of see it, we'll get a closer look. I really dig it, very cool. Now Bodo's has been around for a while. They opened back in 84, named after that guy, the guy on the sign, that's Bodo. He's not with us anymore and neither is the sign. So at this time, I'm not sure who's, who owned or rather who is operating Bodo's restaurant or if the city is going to allow these two establishments to keep operating. Again, not sure what the plans are, but there is a very large redevelopment plan in this area that is public and you could Google it and check it out for yourself. There's a lot of road re realignments and things like that going on. From the porch of Bodo's, just jump in your time machine, go back a couple decades, and just imagine this. Sitting at Bodo's, you look across the street, what do you see? A wooden roller coaster from the Pavilion theme park. Would have been right there, right in the direction we're looking. And then off to the left, you would have seen the Hydro Surge water tube ride, yada yada. So that was the scene here just a few decades ago before we got our vacant piece of land that's now used for festivals and things of that nature. So to reiterate our location, here we are at the restaurants, pan over, old pavilion site, and there is the ocean there, just a few blocks down the street. Again, don't know what the plans are, if any at all, but I'm looking forward to what the future holds for this whole area that is being acquired by the city of Myrtle Beach. That's it, guys. Simple, straightforward. Until next time, take it easy.